us, we, you know, it, it's, uh, <clears throat> I, I, I told our team this, and, and I, I believe this wholeheartedly, you know, nobody can take away that we've had a really good year. I mean, you win the league, you win the league tournament, you win 30 games or whatever, that's a really good year. But in order to make the year special, you've got to advance the tournament. And, and, uh, you know, we didn't play very well. I, I, I tell you, I think the thing that I'm probably happiest about today was the fact that we didn't play very well and your leading scorer didn't make a basket and still yet you had other guys step up and play tough. So I, I thought it was a terrific team win. Was, was it hard, hard to pull that out of the game? Was it was hard hard a little bit, a little bit, yeah, because, you know, I mean, I've talked to enough people, coaches over the years, that you don't do that with your best player leading scorer, but, but uh, uh, we were actually better, you know, during that stretch and Ben was the biggest cheerleader we had. So great teammate, but it's hard to take the deer out, too. The deer was absolutely fabulous the second half. We're uh, we'll talking about Jeff with you, what he, he gave you guys defensively, but also what he gave you offensively. Well, he had 16, 16, and 5. I don't know how you guys felt. It seemed like to me he blocked more than five shots. You uh, may not make out of it, but uh, I thought he was fantastic. You know, everybody played pretty good the second half. Kevin had a good half. Elijah was better. Of course, the deer was terrific. And, but, but Travis and Jeff were the two that carried us. What was the synopsis of the halftime speech? Uh, hey, we can do better, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's it. What's going on better the first two halves of the other games here? What's that? The first two halves here. So I think we're tight. I thought we played tight. I think there's a huge advantage of playing close to home. And, and but, but it wasn't the same locker room before the game as it was before we played Houston. Obviously, there was. It had a different feel to it because the guys care so much, and that's normal. And then you got your your fans uh, uh, here that 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 want it bad for you, and sometimes when you can't make a shot or can't make a play, and the fan, you know, it's it's that deal. You need to kind of do something to, to get the lid off the basket, and fortunately we did that, and and, uh, and then of course the crowd carried us. You know, uh, we didn't give the we didn't give the crowd a chance to help us the first the first three halves we played. Here in the Sprint Center, but the, but the second half, we gave them a chance to help us, and of course, they lost to the occasion. Kansas City kid came up big in all ways, defensively and offensively. Yeah, you know, uh, I said, your man was only got five points when he scored one basketball. He said, no, he didn't. He didn't get any of me. I mean, that was, that was, a, that was during a, a switch or a, a sub. So, uh, yeah, he did a great job. Of the Bullock's a good player. He's got great size. And, and uh, Travis did a great job of him. Kevin did a great job of the still too. And that's a little bit of a unique card for Kevin, so I was real happy with him. But, yeah, Travis played about as well as he's played in the Kansas uniform. And it was great to see for a senior to play his last game in Kansas City to, to get off the line. You're 3-0 against Roy wearing the third and the California the KU stuff. Yeah. Uh, one of them, not 3-0, you know, other places. But, but uh, you know, uh, I don't think it has anything to do with uh, Coach Williams uh, or me. I think it has something to do that on the three nights that we play, our team played well. So, so uh, although we did the first half tonight, the second half, so I don't think that that, has, that, that that kind of stuff is blown up way bigger than what it should be because really it's no factor. I mean, coaches know players know games, and, uh, and certainly uh, in, in the games that we played, we've got our players still up there. How do you get the guys concern? to loosen up a little bit? Oh, the the, the lid came off. The lid came off. So, but, hey, this is this ain't different than last year. I mean, Detroit, we labored, ended up going away late. Purdue, we were trailing the whole game. We had to go try and go to win the game against Purdue and, and, and we forced them to do so. And, and this was Carolina today. Carolina's got good players, and of course, it's not, a, it's not anything awful to be down nine at halftime if they're making shots and if we're not turning it over. But when they're not making shots and we turn it over every other possession, it's bad to be down nine at halftime because we didn't get their best the half, the first half as well. But but uh, the lid came off. The lid came off, and so I'm sure we'll play much freer. It had a feel like you guys should be cutting down the nets out there. Carolina and Kansas and a high level intensity. Yeah, well, last last year we got a chance to, but, but uh, obviously the first round games, that's that's not a part of the deal. Uh, we want to cut down two more nets, and uh, you know, in order to cut down the next one, uh, we got to prepare to win a two game tournament. And we're playing a team, as you guys saw, that just demolished an uh, unbelievable basketball team in BC. Michigan's as talented as anybody. When they play good. They're definitely a, a top five team in the country, and they're playing good right now. So we got our work cut out in order to have an opportunity to cut down another net. But that's why we want to be in this situation and so much and so happy that we are. Coach, any concern about Ben moving forward, kind of like just getting his head a little bit? Uh, not really. I mean, it was he, he had a rough weekend. You know, it's, it's, he probably, Travis loves the sprint center. He probably needs to get out of, you know. Uh, uh, but he'll be fine. You know, he's too good a player and too talented. And, 
he's got to see the ball go in the hole. And, and you know, the, the thing about it is with kids uh, and a freshman that's never experienced anything, there's different pressures. I mean, you're talking about expectations, you know, Sports Illustrated, CBS deals, you know, you got all these things that are going on. And, and he handles it beautifully. He really does, and his family does too. But, but he was a little, you know, he's probably a little tight and a little nervous. And, you know, I think it's exciting for our team to know that you can win a game like this and, and have your leading score not make a basket. So I, I don't think that'll happen again. Coach, two teams from Kansas in the Sweet 16 talk about the significance of yeah. Wichita State being one. Oh, yeah, I'm happy for the Shockers. I'm happy. Uh, now, that doesn't mean we're going to play them. Uh, <laughs> But uh, as, a, as a joke, okay, uh, uh, because that would be the next question. But, but, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy for, for Greg and his players and staff. I mean, they, they've done a terrific job and to beat Gonzaga in a, in a game which they had to really play great. If I'm not mistaken, they made 14 threes. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So unbelievable performance. And, you know, the way that West Brackets kind of, you know, shook down or whatever, they got a great chance of winning a couple more games. So uh, uh, it'll be interesting. Thanks, bro. Thanks, All right, guys.